Now, the third thing I wanted to talk to you about is to install the Google AdWords campaign tracking device. Uh, by installing that, that helps you keep track of how your campaign is running. The worst thing that can happen for you is if you go and spend $500 on, say, an advertising campaign and you don't even know where the people came from or any of your traffic came from. So by installing the Google AdWords campaign tracker, what happens is that it's able to track where your, your highest keywords are coming from and the most relevant keywords to your site. Let's just say, for example, you've got 500 keywords in your uh, campaign that you've done and maybe only 100 of them are actually successful and they're relevant to what the campaign is. By using this campaign tracker, it helps you minimize your costs and instead of spending, say, $500 on a campaign, you might only spend $100. So that extra $400 that you save by using this, this actual tracking device can help you um, put more money into the right keywords. And that's a very, very effective way to be able to track of how your campaign is going. The last thing is, if you want to find out a little bit more about how Google AdWords is, I'll put a link on, on the post and then it will take you straight there on how, how to set it up and install it. And it's just a simple little script that you put onto your website and that will help you determine which are your highest keywords and determine which where the customers are coming from and which campaign is running successfully for you. The fourth thing that's absolutely crucial for your campaign is having Google Analytics and it'd be really, really unfortunate if you don't have this installed. It's just basically a, a tracking tool that allows you to see where your visitors are coming from. Uh, it's not the same as AdWords campaign tracker or the conversion tracker that I just talked about, but it's actually a very, very good tool to see how many visitors are coming to your site, uh, where they're coming from, the location of them and also how your site is performing as well too in terms of, of traffic flow and whether or not people are actually hopping onto your site looking at, at your sales page and then getting converted over to purchasing your product and it, it'd be absolutely crazy not to have this installed on your website, it's an absolute must so all I can do and say is emphasize it, please install Google Analytics if you're not comfortable with using this, get a web developer to do it. Otherwise, there are other good softwares out there that usually comes with your hosting service. And it's no harm to actually have these, these ones installed as well, such as AW Stats and also Webalizer as well. And they're very, very commonly free programs that are able to install to track what's going on on your website, freely available all over the internet. I'll also include it on my post as well for you to download if you want. Okay, now the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is the most crucial part and it's actually planning a winning strategy for a Google Ad campaign. I've talked a lot about how to set it up and what to do to set it up and look for keywords, installing the tracking devices and so forth, but I guess the most important here, which is the most uh, the turning point of, of anything, is to actually finding out how to set up a winning strategy. Now, it's, it's quite simple and all you have to do is to be able to think how you're going to group these keywords together. Now, in Google AdWords, you can set up ad campaigns and in these ad campaigns, you can actually group all the words together. And the most important thing is to set up a campaign where it's got very, very closely linked keywords. Let's just take, for example, uh, Sydney careers. You might want to set up a, a ad campaign that includes Sydney careers, that's the first keyword, then maybe careers Sydney is another keyword, or maybe uh, top Sydney careers. So as you can see, those things are very, very similar to Sydney careers or anything related to Sydney careers, but just tweet it so that it allows to have multiple keywords within an ad campaign. By doing that, it allows you to start up multiple different campaigns. So if you wanted to actually set up one that says Express Careers, that would probably be a separate campaign altogether and you might go Overnight Express Careers might be part of that uh, campaign there. Now if you want to learn more about the details onto it, I won't be talking about it today, but I'll also put a link on the post to be able to take you to the Learning Center for Google AdWords. In there I'll talk about a lot more detail on how to set up but essentially what you want to do is that by separating into these different categories of campaigns, it allows you to test whether which ones work effectively and which ones don't work. And obviously the ones that don't work take out the keywords and don't spend your money there. 
the only way to know is to test it and to run it in the market. Now, you might be thinking, well, where do I start? Well, easiest thing to do is start with, say, a couple of campaigns or maybe three campaigns, whatever your budget is for your marketing. And as time progresses and you get more traffic to your site and more conversions, and with all the tracking tools that I've, I've talked about just then, you'll be able to determine which are the most effective campaigns. Once you've been able to figure out which are very effective campaigns for you, then what you want to do is to be able to turn those keywords and make sure a lot of those keywords are implemented into your site. Um, not just on your landing page, but on your site, because it also links to uh, the search engines, and the search engines love to have those keywords and be able to find it. And especially if you're running a blog, those blogs, having those keywords in there allows Google to be able to crawl through them much quicker and also find them up which at the end of the day helps you generate a better organic result and then you don't have to spend as much money on your advertising in the AdWords. So that's the thing that I wanted to emphasize heavily on is that in order to create a really good winning strategy or winning campaign is that you want to be able to create the right keywords that are grouped into different sections. And over time you'll find that as you test and progress more you'll, you'll find that AdWords is very, very effective and also very productive for any business as well too. So I'd suggest heavily trying it out and giving it a go. In summing up writing a really winning Google Ad campaign, what you want to be able to do is to take all these results that you gain and also all the things that you put together such as writing a compelling ad linking to relevant search uh, keywords and also installing the Google Ad conversion tracking tool plus also installing Google AdWords uh, sorry Google Analytics campaign tool once you installed all those then what you want to do is put together a complete strategy which is what I've just talked about and running a, a very strong plan on how you're going to attack that now once you've got all those in place obviously the only best way to do this is to try to uh, test the market. By testing the market and when you're getting results from there you want to know which ones are the best uh, keywords that you're using for your particular product or service and then through there once you've been able to test that just keep trying over and over through trial and error and once you start getting results you, you've got to make sure you measure it. Once you've been able to measure these things then you want to make sure that you improve and fine tune it. So don't forget test the market measure it and then make sure you keep continually fine tuning it. Yes, it will take a lot of a bit of time and also a lot of effort, but at the end of the day, once you set this up correctly, you'll start to see a, a flow of, of huge traffic coming through from ad ad words campaigns. And it's an effective way to be able to do it once you're starting out, particularly if you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on advertising campaigns in magazines and news, newspapers as well, and so forth, the, the print media. So hopefully this little tutorial here today has helped you, and um, look forward to seeing you back here more. So see you on the Internet Business Path.